Hello everyone, I am Veena Gandhi, Assistant Professor from Department of BCA Science. I welcome you all in Basic C Programming course. Today in this video you will learn types of computer programming languages. The topics covered in this video are what are types of programming languages, machine level language, assembly language, higher level language, then comparison between machine level language, assembly language and higher level language. In next topic is language translators in that you will learn compiler, assembler, interpreter. Then you will see comparison between compiler and interpreter and assignment and over topics. Why we read language or what do you mean by language? As you know, we, we are human beings, are social beings. We live in family and teamwork. So we want to communicate our ideas, thoughts, feelings with each other. And language is the easiest way to communicate. So language is a means of communication for humans to share their thoughts, ideas and feelings. It may be a system of symbols, words or sentences, etc. Or it can be a science or gesture used by deaf and dumb people used to communicate. So what is programming language? A programming language defines set of instructions that are compiled together to perform a specific task by the CPU or computer. It is used to communicate with computers. Now each programming language contains a unique set of characters keywords, rules of writing or syntax which are used to create set of instructions or program. The types of programming languages. It can be divided in mainly two parts, low level languages and high level languages. Again, low level languages can be divided in two parts, machine level language and assembly level language. So first we will see machine level language. This is the first generation programming language in which instructions are given in terms of zeros and ones. It is a binary format. Computer understand only binary format zero and one, on or off. This language directly interacts with computer hardware. Now machine level language is div uh, instruction divided in mainly two parts. First part is op operation code or op code that tells the computer what function to perform, what operation has to be performed. And the second part is operant that tells where to find where to find or store the data to be manipulated. In figure you can see the machine, le machine level code instruction in which first part is operation code which tells what operation has to be performed and second part is operant or data where we want to apply this operation code. Let us see some advantages of machine level languages. Machine level language does not require any translator like compiler or assembler. Machine level execute faster because it is in terms of zeros and one and it directly interacts with the computer hardware. It requires less memory. Let us see some drawbacks of machine level language. Machine level language is not readable. Difficult to understand and memorize the opcodes. As it is in terms of zeros and ones, so we have to uh, remember the operation codes. To write the machine level language, programmer should have hardware knowledge. Machine level language is machine dependent. This program written on any machine cannot be done on another machine. It is written for specific uh, architecture only. Debug debugging and uh, modification is very difficult in machine level language. If we make any mistake to, while writing the uh, machine level code, it is very difficult to find the error and modify the program. Next is assembly language. This is the second generation computer programming language which tries to overcome the limitations of machine level language. Now in assembly language, machine of course in MLL are replaced by mnemonic which are the English words which represent the some operations. Then operands in binary format are replaced by symbolic names which contains letters and digit. As you can see in this figure, 
first part is a machine la machine level instruction and second part is assembly language instruction here operation code are replaced by the mnemonics lda ada sta like that and data or operand is replaced by symbolic names x y z d let us see some advantages of assembly language it represents the set of instruction in symbolic and human understandable form Programmers do not have to remember the machine of course and addresses. It is very easy to write, debug and modify the program. Let us see some limitations of assembly language. To write the assembly uh, program, programmer has, should have knowledge of hardware. Assembly language is also machine dependent written for specific uh, architecture of processor. Like 8085, 8086, etc. It requires translator called as assembler, which accepts the assembly language program and converts it into machine level code. As compared to machine level language, it executes slower. High level language. High level language are third generation computer programming language, which provides the high level of abstraction. It means it, pro, it hides the underlying hardware or internal working of the hardware from the programmer. High level language is very similar to human languages like English, Hindi and it is very easy to read and understand. Every high level language has a set of predefined words known as keywords and a set of rules known as syntax to create an instruction or program. Thus, high level language focus on programming efficiency rather than machine efficiency. High level language focus on how to develop a program easily rather than uh, computer hardware or machine efficiency. Advantages of high level languages. It is a readable format, easy to understand and easy to write. It is also very easy to debug and modify the programs. We can easily find the errors from the program. Programmers do not require any hardware knowledge. High level language programs are machine independent or portable. Means program written on one machine can be executed on other machine. Example of high level languages are COBOL, Fortran, Pascal, C, C++, Java, etc. Drawbacks of high level languages. High level language programs require translator called compiler which converts the high level language program into machine level language program. Because computer understand only machine level language 0 and 1. So we have to translate that high level language program into machine level. High level language program executes slower as compared to lower level languages. High level language programs are not compact. It requires more memory. Let us see some difference between lower level language and high level languages. First, lower level languages are difficult to learn and understand. High level languages are easy to understand, easy to learn. Lower level languages require hardware knowledge. High level languages do not require hardware knowledge. Lower level languages are not portable or machine dependent. High level languages are portable and machine independent. Lower level languages do not require translator. Only assembly language require translator. Here high level language require translator like compiler or interpreter. Lower languages execute faster than the as compared to high level languages. Lower level language require less memory as compared to high level languages. Lower level languages provide less abstraction while high level language provide more abstraction. Debugging is very difficult in lower level languages. Debugging is very easy in high level languages. Example of machine level language or lower level language are machine level language and 8085, 8086 assembly languages. High level language like C, C++, Java, etc. The next topic is language translator. Language translator accept one programming language and convert it into other programming language. Now first we will see compiler. The compiler is a language processor that reads the complete source program written in high level language as a whole in one pass or in one go and translate it into equivalent machine level program 
called Let's Compiler or known as Compiler. Example of Compiler are Turbo C, GCC, Borland C, or Compiler used by C++, Java, etc. Here you can see in a figure, it uh, compiler accepts the high level language code and translate into machine level code or object code. Next is assembler. The assembler is used to translate the program written in assembly language and convert it into machine code. So here assembler accepts the assembly language as a source code and translate it into machine level code. Next is interpreter. In interpreter, interpreter accepts or reads the single statement of the source program and directly convert it into machine code and execute it. It does not accept whole program. It translates the program line by line. As you can see in the, inter in the figure, interpreter reads single instruction from the source program, uh, convert it into machine code and execute directly. Then it read next instruction from the source code again, convert it into machine code and execute directly. Let us see difference between comparison uh, between uh, compiler and interpreter. Compiler accepts whole program at a time. Interpreter takes single line of code or instruction at a time. Compiler generates the intermediate object code or machine level code. It does not produce an intermediate object code. The comparison is done before the execution. In interpretation, comparison and execution takes place simultaneously. Compiler are faster as compared to interpreter. Compiler requires more memory as it creates the object code. It requires less memory as it does not create any object code, intermediate object code. Compiler display all the errors after compilation all at the same time. It displays the error uh, after each line, one by one. It's very difficult to find the error in compiler. Easily, you can, in interpretation, we can easily find the error. Now, language use, uh, use a compiler R, C, C++, C hash, Scala, etc. PHP, Perl, Python, Ruby uses interpreter. Let us see assignment on this topic. Long questions. What are different types of programming languages? What are the advantages of high level languages? Differentiate between lower level language or machine level assembly in high level languages. Differentiate between compiler and interpreter. Thank you for watching this video.